Oh, it's... Oh, look at that. Hey guys, this is James. We got John Barry with the Boom Boys and we have a few new traps. Now, we looked far and wide online for some really cool crawdad traps because here in Oklahoma, we don't have a ton of crawdads, but this is Craster. We got this on Amazon and this looked to be one of the best traps that you could find on there. Um, anyway, that I could find anyways. This is what we're used to, just something like this that you're gonna see at Walmart. And we've caught crawdads like this before in creeks and stuff but we've never caught a crawdad in a pond. Now, I do know there are a few crawdads in the ponds because the boys and I, we have cleaned fish before and found crawdads in their bellies. So right here, as you can see here, this is one of the better places that we have. That I would assume there's crawdads because there's a lot of rock and the rock kind of goes out there in the water. I think this is the best shot for us to catch some crawdads. This cage is really, really cool. Now what makes this cage really different than the rest is the bait, as you can see, stays in the middle. So the crawdads aren't gonna eat from the outside without coming in. So they actually have to enter into this to be able to get the bait. So that's a really cool design that I thought from Craster. So we're gonna really find out if this is a real deal or not. But this is exactly how it comes like this. Everything about this feels quality. Uh, the cord that comes with it feels really quality. I don't know exactly how many feet this is, I'm guessing this looks like 25 or 30 foot. Opens up just like this, and this, all that is, opens up. There you go, put the bait. So let's go get that old hybrid that we have left over and put it in there. We got two really nice chunks right here, just like that. Let's put them in the cage right here. Oh, perfect, look at that. We'll close that, there we go. Our trap's ready to go. So it comes with a couple carabiners, so this is actually a noodle that you can find just in Walmart for jug fishing. We're just gonna hook it to it. Now we're gonna keep this on the shore, but just in case, so if something happens that we'll be able to find it. So we'll just keep this jug on the shore somewhere like that and let's go get this other cage. So this is a second style of Kreischer that we got. It's a little bit different design. Obviously it's flat. So I don't know which of these would work best. No clue, but it's very similar, except if you notice the bait, it's still in the middle, but it doesn't float. The other one just floats right in the middle. It feels like the same material as the other one. I, I If I remember correctly, I think this one costs a little bit less than the other one. Uh, it's a it's a tick smaller, but again, I mean it's the same kind of design. The only difference is right here. Looks like it connects right here when you put it in. So we'll see if these traps make a big difference, and even if there's crawdads in this pond. So who knows? Who knows? What do you think, John Bear? I think there are. You think there are? Do you think we'll catch any fish? Uh, I don't think so. No fish. I wouldn't be surprised if like a small perch finds its way in there, you think? Yeah. Maybe? But probably won't be looking for that food. Food? I don't know, we'll see. Snake? Maybe. Maybe? <laughs> There's what a good will, chance. What will we do with it if we catch one? I don't know. So this year in Oklahoma, we've had an exceptional amount of rain. And the snakes, it's crazy how many snakes there are this year. I mean, it's, it's, you go fishing out here and you might see 20 snakes. So I wouldn't be surprised if we pull these things out and we had a couple snakes in there. So fortunately here where we're at in Western Oklahoma, there's not a lot of poisonous snakes. Guys, I've got the secret crawdad bait, the Goliath grasshopper. Ooh, that thing is huge. Put him in there. He's a Put him in there. Stay there. Nice throw, man. Give me some, dude. So again, this is a pretty decent spot because it looked, it looks like we got quite a few rocks over here. All right, so we're gonna set out the third trap, the oldie but a goodie, the fray bill that you can get at Walmart and. and yeah, John Barry got it for his birthday. What, how many years ago? 
two. two years ago. So, yep, we're gonna cut up some more bait and we're gonna find a new pond. Actually, we're gonna go into a pond that you guys have seen quite a bit. We've done several videos in there, what we call the swamp. So we are gonna cut up some more fish and go in the swamp. So here we are at the swamp, very peaceful place. Actually, John Barry is the one that picked every single spot today. So, we won't catch any crawdads. It's your fault, bud. <laughs> I bet we will. You know, I've always wondered, I mean, these crawdads, I mean, how many of them are actually in these ponds? You know, it's... There could be tons. There could be. There could be way more than what anybody thinks. I mean, you know, they hitch a ride on some bird feet, you know, the eggs. And, but, you know, it's it's interesting. So, we're super looking forward to you know, what we're gonna find out. So this, again, this is just your one that you always see at the stores and we'll, we'll throw some food in here. And I tell you what, those new traps look unbelievable. I tell you what, John Barry, I can't wait to take those down to the, to the river. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be really cool. I'm just gonna throw the rest of this hybrid in there. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> how many crawdads will go in there actually the more bait you put in the more crawdads you can catch okay so i'm gonna take this and we are gonna throw this out there as far as we can get it i don't really want to go get a boat there we go guys i tell you what Super exciting. We're gonna let this marinate in the water. I don't know, John Barry, what do you think, a day or so? Yeah. And we're gonna come back out, check the traps, so yeah. we'll see you then. Here we are, guys, the next day. So these have been soaking for about 24 hours now. So, John Barry, you gonna pull it in and see what we got? Let's go. What do you think? Oh, it's heavy. But it's got a bunch of moss on it. Yeah. We're in it. Oh, oh wow. Oh. It was like right in the moss. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, catfish. Two bullhead catfish. Bullheads? Two bullheads. <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Those suckers. We caught two bullheads in here. We didn't exactly catch what we're going for guys but uh he caught something cool got some custom bullheads and we still got two more traps yeah right here we got poisonous we're gonna throw this back out still has his bait and uh we're maybe let this set for another 24 hours or so Are we going but we're gonna throw a little bit closer to the shore this time so completely surprised by the first trap, guys. That was probably the last thing I would have thought about that would go in these traps. I actually thought we'd catch a snake before we catch a bullhead catfish, so. Now this next trap, you remember, it is closer to the bank, so. What do you think, Emma? Pull on in this sucker in. Thank you. We got, what do we got? Nothing. So it looks like to me, look at this guys, look at this, look at this. So look at this. That fish is almost eaten down. And look at this trap though up here. This trap was caught like this. So I bet you anything, it had a fish because you can see that bait. That that was full yesterday. Remember John Barry, this is where yeah. your Grass grasshopper was. was. I bet you anything, this trap, fish came in there, pushed it up like this, it got caught like this it looks like it's a little bit bent right here so i bet you anything it was a bullhead but we're gonna throw it back out there let it sit for another 24 hours and... i think if it's broken by tomorrow the brand might not be the best well we'll see let's go check the swamp oh look at all the perch in there oh my goodness see all those bluegill? I, I bet we caught them I think so Nothing. We, no, we did, we did get something too. No, that was that fish. Wait. Oh, yeah. Nothing. 
Uh, we had a piece of meat in here, son. Yeah, that. We had a cut piece of meat that's gone. See, that's what's left Something's over. Something's getting in there. Something oh, is. Oh, look, this is bent. Back. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that's bent back. Oh, my gosh, they're tearing. <laughs> we should have put them Holy in Holy cow, what kind of fish are in here? All right, let's throw it back out there. I can't believe none of those bluegill. There's like, I don't know if you can see it in the, the camera, but there's like 30 or 40 really small bluegill right there. So. Oh, I can see They them. could easily get out. All right, out, so let's, yeah, they can really let's throw it back out there and see if we can't catch up later. All right, so here we are, day two, that the traps have been in the water. So Jeremy, I'm with Jeremy here today, and we are about to pull it in. Let's see what's got. And oh, and it's got nothing. Nothing's in there. So let's go check the other one, but let's leave that out. So I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because it's too shallow, or man, there just may not be very many crawdads in here. I highly doubt there's a lot of crawdads in these ponds, but man, you never know. Like I said, two times in my life, I guess since uh, I've been fishing here for the last 15, 16 years. I've cleaned fish with a crawdad in it, so two times. So I know they're in here, just not very many. So here's the second trap. Oh, it's... Oh, look at that. Turtle. Turtle. Oh. That's what that sucker was yesterday. Look at that. Oh, and a fish. His head smashed. And a bluegill. We know they catch three things now. Bullheads, some bluegill, and turtles. So. I want to keep the bluegill. Get this turtle out of there. Oh, oh that thing's creepy. Mm, creepy. All right, let's get him back in the water. See you, buddy. Yeah, let's keep it. And we got... No bait. Nothing. But no you know, bait. look at that. Look at that. Look how it's tore up again. Look at that metal. Uh, you... What is it? Look how it's all messed up. See, it's all... What's bent. happening? I don't know. I don't know if a turtle's... Oh, look, that fish is gone. They pulled that fish out and they bent it. I guarantee you it was a turtle. Turtle? I guarantee you a turtle was trying to pull that fish out and bent this trap. A big one. A big one, I bet. Well, we didn't catch any crawdads, but you know what? We're not going to stop there this summer. We're going to continue to move the traps around to some different ponds, deeper water. Maybe it was because it's the summertime and they're not in the shallow water, but... I don't know, but at least, we, you know what? We caught two bullheads, we caught a turtle, and a bluegill on our new trap, so we're super excited about that. But if you like this video, please sub to the Boom Boys, like the video, share it to your friends, and we'll see you on the next video, right? Yes, sir. Right, baby? Yes, sir. All right, see ya.